All right, what is up everybody? So we are back today with another install video. Today we are installing my Midland um, Micromobile GMRS radio. Um, we are going to be installing this in our JL. Um, I really wanted to install this before we went willing last weekend, but we didn't get a chance to. So we are installing it this weekend. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on this install video. Okay, so of course for this install, we have the Midland Micro Mobile GMRS two-way radio. We have this antenna, a mounting bracket, and then the antenna cable. Y'all excuse my dirty Jeep because I need to clean it. <laughs> and now let's go ahead and open up this box. Okay, so first we have the actual unit, and then, so this is an antenna with a magnetic bottom to it, instructions of course, some screws and a fuse, the plug to plug into the cigarette lighter. A mount for the microphone and of course the handheld microphone okay so first up is mounting the actual unit and um, we are actually going to mount it over here on the passenger side and um, kind of probably right here a little bit straighter but right here over on the passenger side. Anyway, so I wanted to show y'all really quick. This is might just be a temporary fix for right now until we can figure out where to mount uh, the ghost antenna better but we are mounting it on the front bumper right there in this little space um, so we are going to feed the wire through the firewall and hook it up to the unit uh, but I wanted to just show y'all really quick where we are mounting the ghost antenna and like I said, this might just be a temporary fix for right now until we can find a better place to mount it. But that's where we're going for right now. Okay, so we went ahead and 
Uh, got the antenna wire through the firewall on the driver's side. Went ahead and put it through this top part over here and pulled the carpet back on the driver's side and fished it through the console to the passenger side. So we're just tidying everything up over here and about to hook everything up to the box, the controller box. So. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hook up the antenna to the controller. And then mount it up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and install the handheld microphone into the unit and then uh, put the handheld microphone mount on the dash. that. Okay, so Michael is actually hard wiring the power source into my underglows um, up underneath the driver's side. Um, so he actually detached this 12 volt connector, um, just snipped it off, and he's hard wiring it into my underglows. So that's what he's doing right now. Michael wanted me to correct myself. So he went ahead and used the hot side of the it's just a 12 volt constant coming straight from the battery. Okay. Yeah, what he said. So that's what he's doing right now. Um I said it the wrong way. But anyways, we're gonna keep moving along on this install. Power's hooked up, I just gotta hook up the ground. He's just got to hook up the ground down there. Uh, the power is hooked up. So soon we will get to turn on this baby. Alright, so the wiring is all done. And we're about to turn it on. And it's on. Awesome, awesome, awesome. around 5 miles an hour. Sunday, cloudy with a 30% chance of showers in the morning, then partly sunny in the afternoon. Much cooler with highs in the lower 60s. North winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Cooler with lows in the upper 40s. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. And now the extended forecast. So that's a really neat feature, um, just to do the weather uh, forecast, I guess is what you would call it, um, which is amazing. It's just this WX, and it starts telling you the weather. Um, there's a way to change the backlight color as well. Um, I don't remember the exact, I know you do menu, but I don't know what else after that, so I'm going to have to read the instructions to figure out what okay so like i said earlier you can change the color to uh, the display up here um all you have to do is go to menu and then of course you just thumb through these selections and the db is the background and you just do call Sorry, not call. You do the lock button and then you can just thumb through the different colors. White, none, green, red, yellow, blue, 
kind of a light blue, which I'm probably going to do pink and white. And then to lock it, you're just going to do the lock button and your color set. So we're going to have to read through the instructions to figure out all the different gadgets on here. Because like I said, they have the weather radio, which is awesome for, especially out on the trails, if you do not have um, service on your phone, that's going to become amazing. Um, and like I said, we're just going to have to read through the instructions to figure out everything on this radio. But yeah. I'm excited. Uh, so, there it is. Sorry, the, the lighting is crazy right now. All right, y'all, so that wraps up the install for today. Um, I'm probably gonna be playing, this, playing with this radio for a while and reading the instruction manual just to see what all we can do, what all the different buttons mean. <laughs> Um, so if y'all like this video, make sure to go check out MidlandUSA.com. Um, you can also use the code PEARL15 for 15% 15 off your order. And if y'all like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see y'all next time. Bye.